Hello, all. Well, welcome back to a, uh, another episode of uh, Admiral Enright's Carnival Intoxica. We are uh, doing a couple cocktails for you throughout uh, the next couple weeks here. Um, give you a little something to do at home, learn some of the techniques, and uh, become familiar with some of uh, maybe some of the stranger bottles you have in your inventory there. Uh, today I'm doing a Caprahenia. Uh, this is a cachaça drink, very nice, light, refreshing, uh, and it's one that you can easily substitute other ingredients for. So we're using uh, Leblanc cachaça. However, if you want, you can do a vodka version, which is called a caprosca. Um, you can do rum if you have rum at home. Uh, it's really basically uh, just a lime, sugar, and uh, whatever spirit you want to use, whatever you think is going to work nicely with, uh, with those ingredients. Um, so let's get started here. Uh, we have our basic setup. Uh, you've got your bottle of La Blanche Cachaça. We have a pint glass, which we're going to be doing our mixing in. It's not typical that we uh, do our mixing and shaking in a pint glass, but for this cocktail it is definitely a necessity. Um, we've got some limes here, and we've got just some regular granulated white sugar. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and start this. This is basically the national drink of Brazil, and uh, this cachaça itself also comes from Brazil. Um, cachaça is a sugarcane based spirit, just like uh, rum. So. You're going to find a lot of similarities between this and uh, if you wanted to do this with, say, a nice light white rum like Maggie's Farm, which we have here. Um, let's get you started, though. Uh, we're going to do basically start off with, uh, we're going to cut a lime, and we're going to cut it in half. I'm going to take the end off first. I don't want this little piece on there. So we're going to cut it in half. And then we're going to quarter that half. So I've got it cut in half. Cut it into quarters. I'm going to put that in our pint glass. Easy enough so far. I'm going to add one spoonful of sugar. You can add as much or as little sugar as you want to this, depending on how much sugar you want. I think the sugar really uh, brings out a lot of the flavor, brings out some of the brightness in the fruit, so uh, I'd say at least do a spoonful. Um, you're going to need that as well. Uh, you're basically what you're creating here is sort of a lime syrup in the glass to start off with. So we're going to take those ingredients and we're going to model them. I'm going to move my cutting board. Get my cutting board out of the way there. So you got your limes and your sugar all in the glass already. I'm just going to model that, get the juice out from the limes. That sugar is now infusing with all that nice lime juice. And here's where we're going to add our spirit. So we're just going to do two ounces of the Leblanc Cachaça. Again, as I always say, make sure you have a jigger. You want to make sure you're measuring all your ingredients whenever you're making cocktails at home. It's highly important. Um, and un a cocktail that you're doing without measuring is going to be unbalanced and uh, you really want to make sure if you're doing cocktails at home do it right make sure you get the right proportions it'll taste a lot better for you. We're going to fill it right to the top get ourselves a nice meniscus and that's it lime sugar and the cachaça those are all the ingredients you need I'm going to add uh, ice. Now, for this cocktail, we're going to add ice all the way up to the top of the glass. And the reason for this is this is the ice we're actually going to use in the cocktail itself. So I've got my pint glass with the ice, the lime, sugar, and the cachaça. I'm going to use the, my larger shaker tin. Cover that up, give it a really good shake. Mix all that together. Be very 
careful when you are using this. Getting that uh, pint glass out of here. You don't want to crack that and uh, have shards of pint glass everywhere. And that is the cocktail. That is it. We're not going to strain this. We're just going to pour this right in with all those lime husks. Couldn't be easier. As I said, you can do this with uh, vodka. It's a very popular drink, the Kaposka. Um, white rum certainly works if you've got that at home. Um, you know, play around with it. Try it with a little gin. Uh, I have not tried it with uh, the Hendrix, but uh, might be a nice uh, variation on that. So That is the Capraenia. Cheers to you. Hope to see you soon behind the bar. Cheers.